Yeti crabs live more than a thousand meters below the Pacific Ocean off the shores of Costa Rica. They were one of the creatures captured on film and in hand by a team of scientists led by Scripps Institution of Oceanography. One of those voyagers to visit the seafloor in a three-man submersible vessel was biologist Charlotte Seed. She manages Scripps' benthic invertebrate collection, where some of those deep-sea creatures have ended up. For example, this jar is a basket star. You'll notice it's got many arms and each one is branched several times. So sort of look like a, a beautiful woven basket. This is one example from Costa Rica. The dark sea floor Scripps explored is home to methane seeps. In the water off Costa Rica, submersible dives over the years have identified hundreds of species down there. A good portion of them had been undiscovered. The deep ocean floor is so dark there's no plants and no photosynthesis. But where seeps and vents are found, chemicals and minerals from them interact with underwater bacteria that become microbial food, the bottom of the food chain for sea animals. Down there you find crabs and shrimp. You find tiny creatures like this chitin, a sort of deep sea armadillo. There are also larger animals, uh, sea cucumbers, sea stars, brittle stars. And of course, plenty of tube worms and clams. So these are some of the most conspicuous animals you'd see. If you're down there in a submersible, you see tube worms and clams, you know you're at a methane seep. If the bottom of the ocean devoid of light is like a desert, methane seeps are oases, nourishing a diversity of creatures. Seed descended thousands of meters in a submersible. They named it Alvin. She says the deep ocean is very peaceful. Now the work of identifying what may be many new species will begin. After discovering what may be a new form of life, scientists need to describe it to add it to the record of life on Earth. When we describe a new species, we formally declare it to the world, like writing a birth certificate. You have to give it a name. You have to say who it's closely related to. Uh, where did you find it? Methane seeps, by the way, are pretty common. Seed says they are also found a few hours off the coast of Del Mar and La Jolla. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.